D A L E Productions. Uh, Jimmy, Dr. Schultz, let's just see you now. Oh, okay, thank you very much. Uh, the rest of you, the doctor will see you eventually. Uh, you can take a seat right there. Thanks. Hey, Jimmy. How are you doing today? Schultz, I'm good. How are you today? Oh, I'm pretty good, but it has nothing to do with me. We're here for you, Jimmy. Okay. You know, so Jimmy, I'm here as a psychologist. I'm trying to help you here. And in order to do that, I have to know what daily activities you do, what affects your way of thinking. Okay, so can you tell me what you did today? Yeah, well, uh, I just uh, I finished going to my parents' house up at the farm. I just was visiting them for the weekend, so that was pretty nice. Breaking news. Recently, a married couple were murdered on a local farm. Wow. That's pretty scary, eh? There's a murder out there. Well, where were we, Jimmy? Yeah, so it's, it's good to see your parents. You know, your parents are a really good impact on your life, and you should really treasure the time you have with them now. Okay, yeah, I understand. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, that's what you did today, but um, have you been doing a constructive things since the last time I saw you uh, a month ago? So I've been trying to hang out with friends more often. You said it's supposed to be good for me, so... Um, a while back, a few weeks ago, me and 20 close friends, 20 buddies of mine, we went to this ski place and it was, it was, we had a good time. Jimmy, that, that, that's really good, you know, I remember the last time you came in, you were really being an introvert, you know, but at least now it's good, you'd be hanging with your friends again, and you know, you should really treasure the time you have with these friends. Okay, Jimmy, you really have to maintain these friendships, they, they mean a lot to you with the, the problem that you have, so you have to poke around with them whenever you can, okay? Yeah. Oh, radio again. Breaking news. Just uncovered from the melted snow at a local ski resort, 20 teenagers were found dead with their ski poles impaled oh, right into them. That's unfortunate. Wow, that, that's quite a way to die, and what a massacre, eh? Well, well, Jimmy, you know, has anything really big happened to you since the last time I saw you? Well, yeah. A few days ago, this girl came to my house, and that's when I lost it. I just... I couldn't keep control anymore. That must have really affected your problem. Jimmy, you know you're telling me you're, you're seeing your friends, you're trying to see your friends more, you, know, you, see, you see your family, but what are you doing now, right now, that will help you? Like, what did you do right before you came to see me? So, uh, just before I got here, I had a few unwanted things I wanted to take care of, and so I went by 32 Green Street and I dropped them off there. Oh, excuse me, I just need to take care of something for a second. Oh, God. Well, guys, did you hear? There's just an explosion on 32 Green Street. They're thinking that maybe someone planned this out. Jamie, this is fate. You could have been really hurt. It's a good thing you got here in time. Yeah, I suppose I'm lucky. Jimmy, Jimmy, it seems, uh, my friend, you've heard too much this night. You've heard all the deeds I've done, and now I'm going to have to kill you. What are you talking about? Uh, everything you heard on the radio, that, that was me. Uh, didn't you put two and two together? I would have never figured that out. Um... Dang it! That must have really affected your problem. Oh, I feel, I'm so sorry, Jimmy, but besides that one experience, have you been in control of your problem? Have you been able to resist the urges that come from such experiences? The experiences that overtake your body, your mind, your soul, and make you do things you would not want to do. Are you okay, Jimmy? 
well, there's that one time with those few guys. And... <laughs> 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 <laughs>